Hey, so I'm making Gai Lang today with um, uh, Sao Yao Hao, which is um, Chinese broccoli with oyster sauce. And um, I'm going to be eating this with my barbecue pork, which is in my other cooking video. And all you need for this is uh, a bag of Chinese broccoli. It actually only costed me $3.15. And I got a whole bunch. Um, I'm actually just probably going to make half today and then save half for tomorrow. And for this recipe, all you need is the Chinese broccoli, some garlic, um, oyster sauce, black pepper, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and wash my uh, vegetables and, um, and then cut them into smaller pieces. I washed my Chinese broccoli and, and I'm starting to cut um, them into smaller pieces. As you can see, um, here's one hole and normally I would just like, cut it right here and you see how thick the stem is? Once you cut it right here, just go ahead and slice the stem in half like I did right here. You can see some of these, the thicker pieces, you can go ahead and do that. Like the smaller pieces here, you don't have to. The skinnier. Okay, and then the top leafy part, you just cut it into um, like, you know, like an inch, inch, inch and a half, whatever length that you want. And I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the Chinese broccoli. I just got done uh, slicing up my Chinese broccoli, as you can see. Um, actually, I still have one colander full of uh, Chinese broccoli in my sink. Like I said, I'm just going to use half. And this is the other half. <laughs> There's a lot, right? Um, yeah, and what you're going to do is you're going to separate the stems from the leaves because the stems, um, they take a little bit longer to cook and the leaves cook uh, fairly quickly. Alright, and then now we're going to go ahead and uh, mince my garlic right there. Alright, so the garlic is now done. It's all minced. Now I'm going to blanch my uh, Chinese broccoli and I put a pot of hot water on the stove and now I'm going to add some salt Okay, and I'm going to wait for that to boil and then um, what you also need to do is um, get like a, a bowl of ice so that once you take in uh, once you um, taking out your Chinese broccoli, you're going to um, put it into cold water. And, and this is what I'm using, a bowl. And I went ahead and put some cold water in there with some ice. And um, yeah, so once we're taking the, uh, the Chinese broccoli out, we're just going to immediately put it in here and then um, to keep it green. My water has come to a boil, and now I'll go ahead and add my Chinese broccoli. There we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, and just go ahead and immediately take it out. Alright, now we'll bring it over to the sink and we'll pour it into the ice cold water. So, oopsie. And I'm letting the water come back to a boil so that I can do the rest of my um, Chinese sparkle the stems. chilled. Alright. The water's still really cold so I don't need to change it when I put my other broccoli in. Okay. Let's go ahead and take them out. And Chinese broccoli is um, it's a bitter veg vegetable. So be prepared for that. If you're not used to eating bitter food, it's going to be slightly bitter. And um, 
and when you blanch your uh, Chinese vegetable, I mean your Chinese broccoli, it helps with the bitterness a little bit, but still, of course, going to be going to be a bit bitter. So let me go ahead and put the rest of the um, Chinese broccoli in. I'm going to go ahead and blanch my stems next, and there you go. I don't want it to like. Ooh, that's what I was afraid of. Trying to do it with one hand, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll leave it in there for like just uh, maybe two minutes because we want it to soften. And when you do this, it's going to reduce your cooking time. Okay, because it's going to um, soften the vegetable. You don't have to cook it as long. So, yeah, just put it in there for like, like a minute or two. And we'll be back. All right, time to take them out. So it's been sitting in there about maybe two minutes, three minutes. Go ahead and take it out. Probably like two, two and a half, something like that. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll put it in the ice cold water. And when you blanch, remember to keep your heat on high. All right. I'll take this with me. If I need it over there. Okay. cold water. And remember earlier I had two colanders full of um, Chinese broccoli. Well, here's the other one. And um, after you blanch them, you see a whole basket full, right? And after you blanch them, this is what they look like. It's like half a basket. So, and look at the beautiful color. You see that color before? And look at how beautiful, like you get a beautiful dark green. See? And that's why I like to blanch my vegetables. Let me see how they are. Okay, again, you're going to separate them because you're going to cook them first. Where is my... Hold up, hold up. Let me move this out of the way. Basket over here. Okay, let me scoop them out. My scooper. My pooper scooper. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Kidding. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm gonna shake the excess water off. And um it's kinda early to saute them because it's still morning. I'll wait until later in the afternoon. Um, and then uh, we can start cook the cooking process. I'm gonna I'm gonna start cooking my um, sauteing my Chinese broccoli, and I put some oil in the wok like so. And um, I'm gonna wait for it to get hot before I add the minced garlic. Okay, and I also put on um, on this side my stove is so dirty I don't want to show it. <laughs> um, I also put on the side a pot of boiling water because we're going to need some of that. And get your oyster sauce ready. Okay, and once the, um, the, the wok is hot, we'll go ahead and add the garlic. Alright, I'll go ahead and add my, um, my garlic. Come on, you. Come down. Alright, fine. And remember, we're going to add the um, stems first and then the leaves. Okay, so it's a little brown and we'll go ahead and add our stems. And the heat is on high. We'll cook it for about two minutes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and lower it until you let it to medium. I don't want my garlic to burn.
back to almost high. I need it. Yeah. I have the fire back on almost high. It seems like it's being lowered, so the heat is not as hot. Alright. So I'll go ahead and add my oops, water thing. And turn off the heat. Okay. Let me add my the rest of my um, broccoli. Broccoli. Oh. All right, I have some uh, oyster sauce. Boil, um, hot boiling water. Oh. So remember the heat is almost still on high. Not quite there. And that's it. You're done. You can turn off the heat now. Add some uh, black pepper to the top. There you go. And I'm going to be eating that with my, I'm going to be eating this with my um, barbecued, my Chinese barbecued pork sasu. So I'll show you what it looks like together. Chinese broccoli with oyster sauce and barbecued pork.